All right, what's up, people, man? I wanted to talk about Daz exposing Suge Knight for being a fucking liar and, you know, trying to throw dirt on Dr. Dre's name as not being this prolific producer by stating that Dr. Dre didn't produce anything on Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style album or Tupac's California Love. He claims that Dr. Uh, that Daz did it. And here's Daz's response to Suge Knight telling that story to TMZ. Saying something about doggy style. Hey, Dr. Dre is the best producer in the motherfucking world. I did not have nothing to do with that. Dr. Dre did that on his own. Suge Knight is lying. I ain't signed a motherfucking thing. He just covering shit up because everything that snooping him has uncovered in the death row unveiling of all the business, and the shady shit that he won. Alan Grunblack, little fat fucker, and what they was doing and how they were still in cahoots or shit like that. So he's just making up shit right now. You know, all that shit he said is a motherfucking lie. If I put my hand up to the street, that bitch nigga lying, beat him up. DHZ, TMZ that motherfucker. All right, so there you hear it from Daz, who Suge Knight claimed was the one who did all the work, and Daz ain't on and up to, no, nah, I ain't do that. Dre did this. And nobody can trust Suge Knight. Suge Knight's word is about as mud, as damn filthy mud that a pig roll in. This dude is the can't get right of American society who fucked up probably one of the most, uh, um, you know, not, what well, I say the most, potentially uh, magnificent fucking company. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying, but he had a company that could have been uh, a thing that just took over the record industry. And he injected a bunch of street level game banging bullshit into an industry. And it all collapsed on him out of his own ignorance, his ignorance to fucking play out street level bullshit that caused the lives of many people. Many people lost their lives by the injection of bullshit that Suge Knight brought into it when he had something that was very, very special to the music world. It was an unstoppable force, and he fucked it up with his ignorance. And now he's sitting behind jail trying to pay out these vendettas, and you hear it even from Reggie Wright, former cop, who when you listen to Reggie talk, sometimes when Reggie talks about shit, you just got to take it with a grain of salt. Because these guys lie so much, they lie to try to make themselves look and sound good, and a lot of it's just full of shit because they have shit out against people. But uh, that's all I got. Catch you on the next. Peace.